so uh, here we go. Take me out to the ball game. What? And it's you, Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. You know, looking back on this whole journey, it can only be scripted by God because everything has just fallen into place. The people that have walked into our lives, it can only be scripted by God. I've been a collector of Killebrew items since back in the uh, early 80s. And I bought a big street sign from the city of Bloomington with Killebrew Drive on it. He ended up signing it. and I had a table there with my Killebrew collection, which happened to be 300 items at the time and I kept in touch and became really close friends you know, with him and his family. I didn't know he was ever lost. <laughs> That's from 1961. On a personal note I can remember being at spring training in 2011 which was a couple of months prior to Harmon passing away and to see him continue shaking hands, signing autographs, taking pictures with people and children of all ages was an example of just how classy Harmon Kilgrew was. I was gonna, you know, make an impression and just uh, come across very professional and to him and be courteous. And, and I shook his hand and looked at his with those blue eyes. That's what does it. And shook his hand and I said, my dad told me what a great basketball player you are. <laughs> That's the story of how we met. Not very impressive, is it? <laughs> the truth is less than 1% of Medicare beneficiaries live in an area where hospice is not available today in the United States. And a large part of that, I think, is because Harmon went out and talked to doctors and nurses and Congress about hospice and made, he, he helped to create that. Hospice is not where you go to die. Rather, uh, hospice professionals are trained to assist patients in living their lives fully, completely to the end, without pain and comfortably in whatever setting they, they choose. Great kickoff to have Nita here in the community of Fergus Falls. Um, you know, we've got Harmon Kilbur Hospice Day coming up on Saturday. 32 buses going. Um, we've got a big slew of them from Alexandria, Parker's Prairie, Purim, um, Henny and Ottertail, Ashby, Pelican Rapids, and Wadena. So it's going to be great fun. And did you know that a lot of the businesses sponsor buses so their employees and families could go? So hospice volunteers and cancer center volunteers could go? So their community could go? I am from Purim and we are here sponsoring a bus. We're excited to be part of it and to offer our support. And they asked me if I wanted to come along and that's why I'm here. And it's for a good thing anyway. Hospice is great. We are expecting roughly about 2,500 to 3,000 people. We were told about 35 buses should show up for this. Um, as you can see, we got quite a good crowd going on. We have hamburgers, chips, and a bottle of water for the people that showed up with the buses. Um, they got uh, Killer Brew uh, root beer floats over in the corner. So, great turnout to be hooked up with hospice. And all the money's going for a good cause. So, we are proud to partake in this. The people that are involved with hospice really understand what it's all about and how we can bring dignity to the last stages of life. Looking at the whole person, putting them in an environment they love the best, surrounded by people they love the best. Our hospice does a raffle every year, and we raffle off a Harley. But we thought, let's do it up big and do something to honor Harmon. So we're doing this Killebrew Harley, and thanks to Nita, we got Dan Gladden's gonna ride that uh, beast out onto the field and Nita's gonna help draw the winning ticket. Well, we grew up on dirt bikes in Northern California, so when we signed a professional contract, uh, they had it in there, no motorcycle riding. So when I got done playing, uh, it was time to get my motorcycle, and uh, rather than go for the dirt bikes, which we still have, uh, we decided to get some road bikes. So I've been riding Harleys for probably the last 15, 20 years. Well, I got involved with hospice uh, through Harmon Killebrew and Nita Killebrew, and I just think that, uh, you know, anytime that they're involved with something like that, it's always a good cause. I just want to get this motorcycle started up and hit the dirt, man. <laughs>
All right, thank you. Thank you for purchasing all the raffle tickets. Um, the Twins changed it up a little bit for Dawn at Target Field. We've been talking about the pregame. We're raffling off the Harley. And the Twins, again, are just so amazing and, and phenomenal and, and helping hospice with our awareness and also raising dollars so we can do some great things for hospice patients and their families. Pre-game, we're going to line up about 5 o'clock, so that's the time you want to be in your seats down there. Um, and then we're going to um, have people just singing of the national anthem. And then the twins are going to tell everybody, you know what, it's still time to get your ticket. So they're going to let us sell right at Target Field until the seventh inning, which is amazing. We just really appreciate that. And then they're going to announce who the big winner is of the Harley. So we hope it's one of you. Wouldn't that be fun? So he was just a talented athlete like most guys are when they do something and they, they put their mind to it and they become good at it. They become good at every sport. And but you've heard the story, I'm sure, about Harmon's dad playing ball with the two boys. He would teach them everything. And he'd teach them baseball. And the mother would come out and say, you're tearing up the grass. And, and uh, Harmon's dad would reply, we're not raising grass. We're raising boys. Yeah, you can have the world. You can have this. You can have that. You can have everything. To give back to somebody that has a need to make their lives better and make a difference for them, you know, that makes a person feel good when you can give back like that and, uh, and you know, know that that person, you know, because of what you've done is, is going to be, you know, hopefully better, you know, for it. And, uh, and this is what this is all about. Harmon wanted each person to know that hospice isn't about giving up. It's about living life to the fullest each and every day. The number one thing people say about hospice care is, I wish we would have called hospice sooner. For more information on hospice care or to find out how you can be a part of Harmon Killebrew Hospice Day at Target Field, go to hospicekillebrew.org or call the Lakeland Hospice Foundation at 218-998-1423.